The drug fentanyl is a nationwide issue, of course, and very prevalent right here in the DMV. According to the Drug Enforcement Administration, fentanyl is responsible for about 75% of all overdoses. WUSA 9 recently got a look inside the DEA's special lab where these dangerous drugs are tested daily. Marcella Robertson joins us in studio with more. Good morning. Good morning, guys. Really fascinating to see this lab. And uh, as you mentioned, fentanyl has become such a serious issue in our area. Law enforcement officials, they're working to get the dangerous drug off the street. But once those drugs are seized, they need to be tested. And what we don't often think about are the DEA chemists responsible for that testing and they're really putting their lives at risk every single day. These are three kilo bricks of fentanyl. Rashida Weathers is lab director at the Drug Enforcement Administration's Maryland facility. This is enough to kill a million and a half people. That will be the population of Prince George's County and Prince William County combined. This lab in Largo sees 10,000 drug exhibits a year seized from nine different states. Over the last several years, though, protocols have changed drastically. Because we assume that any drug exhibit that's coming in contains fentanyl. Because of that, the chemists testing these drugs are constantly putting their lives at risk. They are in full protection with Narcan ready to go at every station. My main goal is to make sure that everyone goes home alive and unharmed at night. Exposure to even the smallest amount can be deadly, something that wasn't a concern a few years ago. There was never the looming concern of, I, I could die today. I could die today. So fentanyl is 50 to 100 times more powerful than heroin. That was proven back in April when 10 people died in a three-day stretch in the district. A bad batch of cocaine laced with fentanyl was to blame, according to D.C. police. That same month in Prince William County, Virginia, police say two teens died after taking counterfeit pills. Officials say two out of every five pills they seize contained fentanyl. We're seeing young people that never used drugs before trying a pill for the first time, not knowing there was fentanyl in it. No one should assume that they're safe. No one should assume that they're immune to this threat. And DEA officials are asking parents to have serious conversations with their kids about the dangers of this drug, especially because they can be so easily purchased on social media through Snapchat and Instagram. And Allison, certainly uh, important conversations to have. Absolutely. Um, you know, I haven't had this talk with my girls, and I uh, think that's important to do, being realistic. Thank you so much, Marcella.